Hey, hello there. Welcome to the Generational Gamer. In this video, we're going to talk about OneCast on a Mac. Now, the current version of OneCast, well, it doesn't really work too well. So, with that in mind, let's double check and make sure the Xbox itself is actually working properly. So, in this case, I know I can get into it, so let's go into the settings. We're going to check out networking, and we're going to double check to ensure that remote play is in fact enabled. Yay, we're good to go. Now, we'll go back to trying to register our Xbox. I know it says Xbox One, but the old version only shows Xbox One, regardless of if you're using a Series X or Series S. And it's going to fail again. Not your best thing, but it is what it is. So, how do we get past this? There's actually a surprisingly simple method, but let me go through the steps of troubleshooting here. So, I look up that error message, because, well, what is it? And that doesn't help at all. So, let's go to the actual site. And if you look up this error message, it tells you absolutely nothing. So let's just go to download and try this new version, the beta. So you download that. Here's what it does, it's different. I haven't got Nextcloud support to work, but then again, I also don't have Game Pass. So double click on it to open it, and then just simply drag it over to your applications, and bada bing, bada boom, it's installed. So we're gonna launch it, it's going to prompt me to update again, which is fine. It's a beta, so it's going to constantly update. Install update. Takes just a second or so to download and install. Install and relaunch, and boom, there we go. So now when we log into OneCast, just put in your username and password, and once you're logged in, you'll get that. I can now see my Xbox Series X. These are your options now. And we're going to click connect. Takes a moment. And whoa. Yeah, it works. So we've got The Witcher here. Not all games are compatible with remote play, so understand that. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt absolutely is and it definitely works. That is so much cooler than having to, well, not use your Mac to access your Xbox. You can clearly see this is the version, and the fact that I've got all those little Mac window icons, you can see that it is in fact in my Mac and not just something I record with my Elgato. Now, I will point this out here. The audio did not transfer over through the Elgato, even though I was capturing it from a Mac. It was kind of weird. I don't know why, but I'm not really going to worry about it too much because, quite frankly, this isn't how I'd play the game. You can see some of the other options here. Yeah, you've got Party Chat. I'm not using it for that. And, uh, yeah, so now we will just go ahead and look at it in... Well, it's not full screen mode. I see no reason to use this at all, to be honest, but... You can clearly see that it works in windowed mode. And here's the game. Again, no audio because the Elgato didn't record from the MacBook. I have no idea why offhand. I'm really not going to use it like this. Quite frankly, I'm going to use OneCast on my phone far more than I'll ever use it on the MacBook. But that's mainly because, well, I have a Steam Deck now. I can play it remotely there. Or I can just simply use my phone, which is also with me all the time. So... That's neither here nor there. But I hope this helps you. If it does, please leave me a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and have a good one.